Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and this is Shader Week on Game From Scratch, apparently. Yes, earlier on this week, I talked about Pico GPU from the creator of the Hacks programming language. This is like a stripped-down, minimalistic, virtual GPU for people that want to learn shader development. A very cool project, and today we're moving on to another shader thing, and this one is for debugging shaders. This is an area that is kind of painful, and the solution to it is shader to human Now, this is a library uh, for, uh, for debugging shaders, HLSL, and GLSL. On the one hand, you can think of it sort of like as a print uh, print F replacement. On the other hand, you can think of it as like an IM GUI replacement, but with only a couple of lines of code. I'll show you exactly how this works in a second. First, this is coming from Electronic Arts. By the way, Electronic Arts are very active in the world of game dev open source. If you've never checked them out before, uh, they have a ton of open source projects here, uh, some very popular libraries. We also have a Gigi, a, a prototyping uh, and development tool for rendering techniques, which we're actually going to see in action today as well. But what we're focusing on today is Shader to Human. And what more exciting way can I show this off than, uh, let's say, PowerPoint. <laughs> yes, uh, they did a PowerPoint presentation. We're not going to go through this in much detail, uh, but this was back at the Graphics Programmers Conference back in November. Uh, since then, it has been open sourced, which is why we we're talking about today. So this is now available. And basically, what is Shader to Human? Well, the easiest way to think of it as printf for shaders. So if you want to put debug information on screen on the shader you're drawing, you want to render out some details, you can do that. It's also a very minimalistic GUI, like I am GUI, an immediate mode GUI. Uh, so you can actually render things out. Like you see over here, this table uh, being rendered out. So if you want to debug things, make uh, debugging actions for your shaders, you can use this for it. By the way, it is now open source. It's available on Shader to Human. I will have that in the linked article down below. It is available in the GG browser or Gigi browser. I no idea how that's actually pronounced. Um, we're going to show you that in action in just a second. It is super simple to install this. Basically, you just copy the include folder in and you include it in your shader. I'll show you some shader codes for how this works in just a second. Uh, if you're wondering about the guy behind it, uh, he apparently is German and he's not angry, uh, but he, he's worked in a, a number of different areas. And of course, he works at Electronic Arts now, along with another fellow uh, that worked on this anyway. So uh, you see here a bit of a demo. We're going to see the demos in just a second. Here's how it integrates. You can see you can use it uh, with things like uh, Unreal Unity, uh, Vulkan OpenGL Engine, Shader Toy, and so on. A number of ways you can integrate this into your own project. So yes, if you wanted to integrate this into Godot, you could quite simply do so. Uh, and what you can do is do th simple things like print strings from a shader language. Uh, I will show you shader code in just a sec, but you can see how simple it is to actually use that. On top of that, you can also do this simple GUI stuff here, 2D and 3D. So 3D, we can do things like put um, little widgets into your 3D scene. It's just stuff you need to do all the time when you're debugging your own shader. So if you want to see like highlight an edge in a shader or something like that, there is tools for doing that as well. Uh, UIs, tables, and so on. And now the next up, it was going to be open sourced. It is open sourced now. So what are we going to look at? Well, let's go back on over here. Again, this is an open source project, uh, but we also are depending on that GG project right now. There are a number of demos available for that. So let's go ahead and open that up next. So you head on over here when you load up uh, GG, which again is a free download, it will bring you to a screen like this. This is all kinds of, you know, different graphical uh profiles or, or projects they worked on, demos, etc. I don't know why it doesn't full screen like that, but what you do is come on in here and just go search for human. And what you'll find is a couple of examples of shader to human here. And we're gonna look at the simplest one right now. This is hello world. All it's doing is printing hello world on top of your shader. And you guys gotta know debugging via hello world <laughs> or uh, debugging via printf, it is as old as coding itself. And sometimes that is all you need. Now I do not know why this hasn't loaded yet. Oh, I opened up the editor. Let's not do that. We're gonna open up the viewer like so. So here you can see, boom, there is our shader running. Super straightforward. Hello world, that's it. That's all it does. And how does it go about doing this? Well, now let's go back to the editor over here. This is kind of an, an overview of this, what the, this GG does for you. But what you want to do is actually go take a look at the source code for this guy. And we'll do that now by clicking edit right down here. So you can see this is HLSL code and it's super simple. So you can see here, let's open this one up in uh, Visual Studio Code like so. And here you go. So this is your shader. This is all it takes. So to use this guy, you grab the include folder from shader, um, sh shader to human, like so. L include that in. And then there's a couple of lines of setup code. So this is your shader to draw hello world on screen. But you see here, all you do, you initialize it, 
like so. Uh, you set the cursor or like the basically the, the location that you're going to draw at. And then what you're gonna do, go ahead and set scale and print some text. So there is your hello, and uh, there is your world. And you're just printing it two lines of code, slightly different location, and then um, that's it. That is all it requires for writing the shader out. So if you wanna draw like simple text onto screen, your simple printf style debugging, it's uh, you know one, two lines of setup or three lines of setup, and then one line of text to put text up on the screen and you're drawing out to your UI. You can do multiple UIs as well. So there is one example in action. We'll go back here to the, uh, the browser over here. So this one is showing Gaussian splatting, blah, 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 all being done and debugged with it. But this one kind of shows all of the features of Shader to Human in one spot. So let's go ahead and check that one out in the viewer right here. You get an idea of what all it can do. So obviously you see here, uh, it can draw text. We see that with the hello world example, but you also see you can use this for doing a simple UI. So if you want to debug your shader, uh, so you see over here, you got a toggle, three, two, one, we, we move between them or we can clear them out, check boxes, uh, we got simple sliders and so on. And you can interact with your actual shader as you are working with it. This is pretty damn powerful stuff. So again, you can do this UI layer for um, working and interacting with your shader as you're debugging, working with it. Or again, you could just use this as a glorified printf for debugging and handling what is happening with your shader. And obviously the output is onto your shader. So let's go over here, take a look at the uh, Viewer, no, we don't want viewer. I do that every single time. Let's go to the editor right here, and you can see the code behind this particular shader. Once again, open that one up, and here you can see everything that it does. Here is the code behind doing it. And again, it's pretty simple. So setting up the UI, if you worked with an immediate mode GUI like I am GUI, this is gonna be immediately comfortable to you. And then drawing, so again, simple initialization, you're setting the position, um, and then you've got you know input handling and so on. So you can see your, your uh, shader is handling your mouse input here for you as well. And then drawing your text on screen, drawing your UI on screen, all super simple code that should be immediately obvious. So this is a kind of quick and dirty. I wanna figure out what the hell is going wrong with my shader or I wanna add a little interaction to my shader. This library enables you to do that. So uh, debugging in the world of shaders, is, it's, it's a strangely complicated thing for something that we have to use all of the time. And that is exactly what Shader to Human sets out to solve. So it is now available. Uh, it has been open source now. If you do like what they've done here, uh, even though it is a big company, uh, show them you appreciate it. Drop them a star on this one. Um, and yeah, Shader to Human, a very useful library specifically for uh, writing and debugging shaders, both 2D and 3D. Once again, we haven't shown it in this example, but you can also use it for doing simple 3D widgets, or you can, again, mix in a, a 2D UI on top so you could track the position of things. Super handy for debugging just why the hell is my shader not working uh, so that is it again all of the examples are running in uh Gigi or Gigi or I don't know how that's said. Uh, again, this is their framework for prototyping and development of real-time rendering techniques. Uh, there's a bunch of different parts to it. Uh, so there's the editor, uh, the viewer for debugging uh, and then we've got compiler and then a browser for showing all the various different techniques or uh, what do they call them? Uh, yeah, techniques that are available there as well. So if you want to go through all their examples that are available, they are there. But this is basically a, a way of rapidly prototyping graphic ideas, another project open sourced by Electronic Arts. And that's where the samples for this one are being held. Uh, and then again, there is this presentation from the Graphics Programmer Conference uh, back in 2025. If you want to go ahead and check out the slides we were looking at right there, uh, you can do so. There's also a number of other talks here, by the way, that are very interesting if you want to go ahead and check these out. But the one we were looking at very specifically today is this one, Shader to Human. So if you're having any trouble debugging or writing shaders and you want to have that like interactive, simple print F or on-screen GUI stuff, that is exactly what Shader to Human solves. And it does it with a couple, like with a, with a single include and a couple of lines of code. So really simple stuff. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.